When a customer pays you more than his outstanding balance and requests a cash refund, there are a few steps you need to follow to ensure all legs of the sequence are properly adjusted. Let's consider the example of a customer with an outstanding balance of $100 and sends you $200. Accepting this payment against the outstanding invoice will result in Reckon 1 creating a credit for the account of $100. The credit is a different transaction to the customer adjustment note and is not listed in the customer adjustment notes table, but it is available to be applied to a future invoice. To refund this overpayment in cash, you will need to process a general journal. Under day to day and business, select journals, click on add, complete the header information with a date, amounts basis, gross or net, and you must enter a summary, like refund for overpayment, and then any other description you feel is necessary. In the table, for the account, select accounts receivable. In the debit column, add the amount of the refund, in this case $100. In contacts, select your customer, leave trans type as sale, and complete any other field that needs to be filled as directed by your accountant. Continue with clicking Add New Row. In Account, select your bank. In the Credit column, enter the amount of the refund, in this case $100, and complete any other field that needs to be filled as directed by your accountant. Check that the Totals line shows the same amounts for the debits and credits. And when done, click on Save and Close. Your book now has a credit for the customer of $100 and an outstanding debit of $100. These need to be matched so that they appear as paid on the customer ledger. Go to the original invoice. On the already paid line, click the amount. In the information box, click on the receipt date link. In the receive money window that opens, in the Allocate this money to an existing transaction section, you will see the journal just processed. List as Journal Entry Receivables. In the How much to allocate column for this line, enter the amount to apply, in this case $100, and click on Save. This action will link the journal entry to the credit generated by the overpayment on the invoice and mark it as paid. When you view the customer statement, you will see all transactions completed and leaving a nil balance for the customer. Thank you for watching this video and if you have any further questions, please go to reckon.com forward slash support.